Hello, my name is Heather. Thanks for coming to class. Uh, we're going to just look at kind of the whole um, yoga spectrum. So we'll go, we'll hit all the yoga bases and uh, just get a nice, not too hard, not, not too gen gentle, kind of somewhere in between style of class. So if you're feeling that, um, stay where you are. <laughs> Find yourself a comfortable seat. If you want to use props for today's class, you can probably use some blocks. Um, if you like to sit on blankets, bolsters like I am, feel free to have those as well. Otherwise, find your comfortable seat. Settle in. Start to work with your breath a little bit. Lengthening your inhales and exhales. Feeling and noticing your body and the energy that you have for today's class. Those parts of you that might need a little extra attention or kindness. Just thinking about that as well. And I like these sort of like potpourri classes, a little bit of everything tend to make me feel pretty balanced at the end, much more in my body, and that's sort of what I would like the intention, my intention for today's class to be. So if you have an intention that you'd like to bring in, you can start to also think about that now. Feel yourself sitting on the floor or if you're sitting on bolsters, just feel your sitting bones, notice where they're at. You might notice if you're sort of leaning forward through your chest or if you're leaning back and start to find the balancing point on your sitting bones between leaning forward and back so that you're not leaning, you're just sitting up tall, relax the sides of your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. See if you can breathe even a little bit more slowly, taking your time with your inhale and exhale. And if you'd like, you could start to bring that slight closure at the back of your throat, creating ujjayi breath, ujjayi pranayama. That way your breath just has sort of a sound attached to it, helps you keep track of your inhale and exhale, keeps you calm. But deep breaths, deep inhales and exhales, regardless of having that slight closure at the back of your throat, work just fine. So you can leave your hands as they are or bring them together in front of your heart. I'd like to start with an OM. Take a deep inhale. sitting on your shins or something, transition to more of a crisscross shape. We're going to do kind of that cat-cow, but in a circle. So as you inhale, you're going to lean forward and to the right, and then exhale, leaning back behind you, but you get the like hollowed out feeling, and then inhale, cooch out your chest, and just create circles. And then once you've got the rhythm, you might close your eyes. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Move to your breath. Really just get your chest and your hips warmed up here. And then start to go in the opposite direction if you want. You can switch the leg that's in front of you. And 
And just really feel what's going on in your spine, in your chest, your neck. Put your head in on the action. Move your head as you move your spine. And just churning the pot. Turning the fire to burn the rubbish. Okay, one more time. Big circle. Okay. So if you are up on something, go ahead and move that now and make this next uh, little exercise a little easier. You're going to keep your legs crossed. Again, kind of like cat-cow. You're going to inhale, dive forward. And then exhale, tuck your chin around your upper back, lean back. But as you exhale, you're going to lift your feet. You can keep your ankles crossed. So do like a little boat. And then inhaling back into that dive forward. Exhale, little boat. You can lift your legs as much as you want. And then just keep going. And again, if you feel like it, you can close your eyes while you do it. Okay, start to change every time you lean back, start to change the ankle that's on top. And you're just moving to your own breath. It takes as long as it takes to inhale and exhale. Okay, I'm already forgetting to switch my ankles. Switch the ankles if you're forgetting as well. times. You're going to stay back in that boat. Uncross your ankles. Squeeze your legs together. Reach forward. <laughs> Didn't really work, but you're going to lean back, straighten your legs, lift your chin, relax your shoulders, take another breath in Navasana boat, and then lean forward, cross your ankles, put your hands on the ground, step back to plank pose. And then just take one deep inhale, look forward, exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Walk in place in down dog, stretching the back of your legs here for a moment. Still breathing deeply, push your hands down and forward, spread your fingers wide. Okay, walk your hands back to your feet. Feet hip distance apart or slightly wider. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward. And exhale, fold over your legs and keep your knees bent, especially if your hamstrings are pretty tight. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, reaching your arms out and up as you stand all the way up. Palms together, overhead, look up. Exhale, bring your arms to your sides. Stand tall in Tadasana. And then again, inhaling, reaching up, upward salute. Exhale, bend your knees as you fold forward, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, lift halfway up, look forward. Exhale, walk your hands forward to down dog. Try to keep your heels on the ground so it might be a shorter down dog than usual. Like the length, the distance between your toes and the heels of your hands might be not as long apart as usual, just so you can keep your heels down. Take another breath. Breathe into the back of your legs, back of your knees, calves. And then look forward, bend your knees. Remember that cross leg position. Hop forward, cross your ankles, or you can step. Sit down, back to boat. Sideways boat. <laughs> okay, maybe your legs are straight, maybe your knees are bent, whatever you can sustain. Take another breath. And then we're gonna rock again, lean forward, plank. This time a little different, inhale. Exhale, now lower to the ground. Inhale, do a little cobra pose. 
and now exhale back to dog. So lift from your belly, tuck your toes, push back. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop to the cross leg. Inhale, boat. Good. Exhale, cross, hands down, hop or step back, plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, dog. Inhale, dog. Exhale, hopper, step forward, cross ankles. Maybe you're switching your ankles. Inhale, boat. Good. Exhale, hands plant. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, dog. Inhale, dog. One more time through. Exhale, hop or step forward, cross your ankles. Inhale, boat. Good. Exhale, hands plant. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, dog. Good. Stay in dog this time. Inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. And then exhale, step to the outside of your right hand. Inhale, let your hips drop, lift your heart, look up. And then exhale, step back to dog. We're going to go back and forth, side to side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, big step forward to the outside of your left hand. Inhale, a little low lunge, back bend, look up. Exhale, dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step to the outside of your hand. Inhale, low lunge, lizard lunge. Exhale, dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step to the outside of your hand. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step to the outside of your hand. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, dog. Last time, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Stay there. Okay, wiggle your left foot back further if you can. If you've got a long enough mat. Yep. And then you're just going to kind of rock back and forth, coming to the tippy toes and then the ball of your foot on your left side. It's kind of intense. Really big um, thigh stretch here on that back leg. If you have yoga blocks, you could put them underneath your hands right now, and that might help make this a little bit more accessible. And then go ahead and bring your left knee to the ground. Pretty deep stretch there. Put your right hand on your right thigh. Little twist. Push down into the left with that left hand. Open your heart to the right and breathe. Yeah, and it might feel good if it's already starting to happen to let that right big toe sort of lift. Some people that'll be the tendency, and that's fine. Breathe. Mm. Take one more long, slow breath. Plant your right hand. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, step to the outside of your left hand. Good. And then just back and forth a couple times. So you're just kind of going from tippy toes to the ball of your back foot. Really long lunge. I had you lengthen your stance even on that other side. So if you're feeling that, you might do that again on this side. Okay. Let your right knee come to the floor. Twist, turn to the left. Put your left hand on your left thigh. Push down and forward, and then with that right hand, push down and to the right, and that'll help you twist a little bit more as you breathe. Support yourself with a strong elbow, strong hand on the floor. Take another long and slow breath. How about one more? Okay, 
turn your chest, plant your left hand, step back one more time, downward facing dog, probably not one more time. <laughs> We're probably doing this a couple more times. Okay, pushing down and forward with your hands, bend your knees slightly, lift your sitting bones higher. And then from that place, press your chest toward your thighs so you get a big stretch in your shoulders. And then if you can, you might start to press your heels down toward the ground again. You have a huge stretch here in down dog, more of a back bend down dog. Maybe your head can rest on the floor. <laughs> okay, inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, inhale, lift your chest, look forward, and exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Okay, I hate to do this to you, but we're gonna do just two rounds of Sun Salutation B. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, hop or step back to Chaturanga or to the floor. If you went to the floor, inhale, Cobra. If you did Chaturanga, it's up dog next. And then down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. Exhale, step forward towards your right thumb. So this is the vinyasa version of Sun A. Back heel spins down. Inhale, arms reach up. I mean sun B. Exhale, hands down. Step back, lower chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, curl up, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right left leg up. Exhale, step forward, back heel spins down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, hold there, breathing deeply. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop or step forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana. Okay, one more round. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hop or step back, chaturanga, or the floor. Inhale, curl up for your back bend. Exhale, dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step forward, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step forward, back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, push back. Three deep breaths. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop or step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, Tadasana. Whew, check. <laughs> it's really hot and muggy in here, y'all. All right, start with your feet together. Let's do a nice classic pose here. Tree pose, hands on your hips to start out with. You're going to turn your right foot out and then bring your right foot to your right ankle. If you have your balance there, you're bring it to your calf. And if you've got it there, then you're going to hold on to your ankle, pull up, and then super glue your foot and thigh into each other. Okay. Turn that right side of your belly away from your right inner thigh. Maybe hands to heart. And then if you get that, maybe hands overhead. Find a comfortable place to stare at. Maybe you can stare into my eyes. 
sounds super comfortable for no one. Take another deep breath, grow a little taller. And then bring your arms down, lay down. And switching sides, turn your left foot out. Bring your left foot to your ankle. If you get your balance, it's calf. If you've got it there, you're gonna reach, pull up, press together, and then maybe hands land at your heart. Mm -hmm. It really does help a little bit to turn that left side of your belly away from your inner thigh. It brings that leg more into external rotation. Maybe you can reach your arms up, breathe. You find your drishti, your gazing point. Soften your eyes. Do tree with your body, not your face. <laughs> Take another breath, grow a little taller. And then release, release. Stand at the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Sun salutation C, which isn't a real thing, but we're gonna pretend it is. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, bend your knees, fold forward. Inhale, bring your right knee into your chest. So a little uh, brain tease here. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, side angle pose, hand either to the floor or elbow to thigh, reach your right arm over your ear, pause here, breathe. Really stretch from your back heel through your top fingertips, yeah. Put your tailbone towards your back heel a little bit more. Good, one more breath. Okay, begin to straighten your left leg, bringing your right arm directly over your shoulder left fingertips to the floor or your shin triangle pose maybe you can turn your head and look up at your thumb another long slow breath here long neck <laughs> so bringing your shoulders away from your neck take that top shoulder behind you a little bit more yep and then look down Bend your left knee over your ankle so that you can put your right palm on the floor a little bit in front of where your right shoulder is, so not directly underneath. And then flip over the pinky side edge of your right foot coming into plank pose, or side plank, Vashisthasana on the right. Good. Reach up, 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 up with that top arm. Push down and forward with your bottom arm. Maybe you like to lift your leg, top leg. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe you don't like it and you did it anyways. Good job. Come into plank. Inhale. Exhale, lowering to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, down dog. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop or step forward. Good. Inhale, lifting halfway with the head. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand up. So this beginning part's a little funky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, bend your knees, lean forward a little. Inhale, bring your left knee into your chest, and then exhale, step back really far, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, so we kind of run through these a little bit. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, hand to the floor or elbow to thigh, and then pause here, take a couple breaths. Get really strong in your feet. Back leg nice and straight. Push down firmly into your front heel and stretch from your back heel through your top fingertips. The elbow that is resting on your thigh, if you've got it there, you're going to push down. One more long, slow breath here. Okay, 
Transitioning to triangle pose. Reach your left arm up as you straighten your right leg. Place your right fingertips on the floor on the outside of your leg. Or you could do hand to shin or hand to block. Reach straight up with that top arm. Push down into your heels like you were in the previous pose. And try to lengthen both sides of your spine evenly. Squeeze that right hip underneath you. And breathe. <laughs> Another long, slow breath. And then start to look down. Bend your right knee. Place your left hand just in front of your shoulder on the floor, spinning to the pinky side, edge of your left foot, transition to side plank on the left side, reach your right arm straight up. Push down and forward into that left hand to help you lift your hips higher. And then if you've got your balance, you might try lifting that top leg up. It's definitely extra. <laughs> it's very extra of me. Take another breath and then come back to or come into plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, little cobra pose. And then exhale, down dog, three deep breaths. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, hop or step forward. Inhale, lifting halfway up, look forward. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, chair. And exhale, tadasana. So let's take a second to practice this next part apart from the uh, sequence. So if you have two blocks, grab your blocks, you can put them at the top of your mat. If you don't have blocks, if you have like a chair that you can grab and use the seat as your blocks, that might be an option. Um, otherwise, hands to the floor is not impossible at all. It could be the way that you do it, okay? So you're going to stand about a foot away from your blocks. And we're just going to practice the twist. We're not going to do it exactly like this in the sequence, but we get to do it here and just get a little extra, a little extra. Inhale, reach up. You can stretch directly over your shoulders, stretch up tall. And then exhale, fold forward. And as you do, reach your arms out to the sides and just kind of hang them out there. Come to the halfway position where you have to hold yourself. Yeah, so your head is basically in line with your butt. Your knees are a little bit bent, please. Now holding, holding, holding. Imagine you have something in your hands, and we'll just use this as a way to notice our spine. So feel if your if your uh, low ribs are sort of sticking down toward the floor, and I want you to lift those up a little bit. And I know you've got the weight of your arms, so you're going to try to lift the back of your hands up a little higher. And now from here, lift your sitting bones higher. That will make your ribs come down again. So once again, cinch in your low ribs. Now finally, bring your hands to the blocks. You're gonna try to keep that sort of, it's almost like a teeter-totter. When your ribs drop, your butt can lift higher, but we wanna have the sort of halfway point in between there. Your ribs pulling in and your sitting bones lifting equally. It's gonna help you balance. So feel your weight, your feet, feet hip distance apart. Begin to lift your right leg up behind you. So if your hands are on the floor or on the blocks, it doesn't matter. I want your elbows to be straight. A little weight in your hands. So it's not all in the standing leg. Before we get too tired, start to turn your right toes out to the right and stack that right hip up on top of your left hip. So lift your right hip as high as you can in the air there, so that the front of your right hip is now pointing toward the right. So we're kind of creeping into half moon pose. And then bring your right hand to your hip. Left knee is a little bent here. If you fall all over the place, you're not alone. This is very difficult on our hips. Hard to do. Okay, so that's basically half moon pose, hand on hip. Turn that right shoulder back down, bring your right hand back to the block or the floor. 
Look back at your right toes, face your toes toward the ground. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that both of your hips are even now. Start to turn your chest away from the floor, turning toward the left now. Reach your left arm up. You're gonna hold there, this is revolved half moon pose. We're talking about with or without the block, I was down doing without for a second. It's not impossible, it's just really freaking hard. Now start to bend your left knee so that you can bring your right foot to the floor. Right toes are gonna face almost ahead, but not quite, so they're to a diagonal yet. And then bring that right hand further back on the block or the floor, so that's more underneath your shoulder. And now you are in revolved triangle pose, which is hard as well. If you get into this pose and you're like, this isn't hard for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Pull your left hip in further, closer, like squeeze your inner thighs together. Maybe if it's easy, you can put your right hand on the outside of your left foot. Okay, one more deep breath. And we're gonna escape this pretty much the same way we got in. So you're gonna keep your hand in the air, sadly. Come back to the block or the floor out in front of you with your right hand. Lift your left leg, or excuse me, right leg back up. You're back to the revolved uh, half moon. And then bring your left hand down. Turn your right toes out. Come back to, you can see why we didn't do this in the sequence. Come back to half moon. Because it's hard. <laughs> Good. And then you can bring your hand down, right hand down with right foot down. And let's stand up for a second. That's a lot of bending over and using our legs as weight. <laughs> the whole thing. Okay, so half moon is really challenging. It's just, it's always going to be like that. You're never going to get to a point where you're like, oh no, it's easy. Uh, unless you do yoga for hours a day, and then I guess that could be true. Okay. So we're going to standing about a foot, a little bit further than a foot from our blocks. That way when we put our hands on our blocks, our hands are directly underneath our shoulders, okay? So inhale, stretch out, and just give yourself a nice stretch, maybe a little back bend. And then exhale, reach down, put your hands on the blocks. Okay, toes are facing straight ahead, feet are hip distance apart, hands are shoulder distance apart. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees a little bit. And remember that nice, strong spine feeling where you've got this sort of balanced teeter-totter effect between your low ribs and your sitting bones, okay? That'll help you balance a little bit. Bend your knees, start to pick up that left leg behind you. So the tendency is to turn your toes out, and I really want you to do that in this case. In half moon pose, our toes are turned completely out to the sides here. Taking that left hip and trying to stack it on top of the right hip, trying to get the front of your pelvis to face the left. Then bend your right knee a little bit, so there's some weight in that right hand on the block, so you can bring your left hand to your left hip. You don't have to reach your arm up unless you want to here while we practice this. Some kind of slow torture here. <laughs> okay, and then transitioning to revolved half moon. You're going to put that left hand down on the block. Turn your toes down toward the ground. I know you can't see your hips, but with your mind's eye, try to get your hips to be even with one another so one of them, even, neither one of them is lifted right now but turn your chest to the right and lift your right arm up. It's kind of hard on the shoulders to lift the arms up, so you could do right hand, right hip. Ooh, it's so hard. Keep lifting that left leg up. Lift from your left inner thigh. And then start to bend your right knee. We're gonna land the left foot to the floor. So bring your left hip or left foot down. Left foot is diagonal to the back of your mat, so your toes are sort of facing forward almost. And then you're going to drag your block back on that left side or hand to the floor. It's going to be underneath your shoulder. And you can use that trick of sort of like pushing down into the left to help you twist with your left hand. And if you want, you can try to creep that hand a little closer to your right foot, maybe on the other side of it. I don't know. It's up to you, it's up to your hip. Squeeze your right hip in strongly. The whole time your inner thighs are squeezing together. And then start to look down. 
Another part of the slow torture is to try to come out of this the way that we came. <laughs> so we're back to revolved half moon. Got to reach forward with that left hand, grab your block over the floor. And then from there, back to regular half moon, which actually might sound like it feels good after all that. Got to try to get those hip muscles to rotate your top hip back on top of your bottom hip. Turn your chest to the left. If you fall, just fall. Just let it happen. Come back a million times and then bring your le uh, left hand back to the block. And finally, the left foot to the floor. And then go ahead and stand up. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So let's add that in before we start our cool down part of class. Start more stretchy stuff. So starting at the top of your mat with your feet hip distance apart or slightly wider. Let's keep this weird beginning. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, lean forward, slightly bend your knees. Inhale, left knee, or excuse me, right knee into your chest. Exhale, step back. Warrior one, inhale and pause. So let's pause so we can get ourselves a really good back bend. Hook your thumbs and lean back as you pull your thumbs apart. Keep your front knee bent, back leg straight, yes. And breathe. Pull your heart up. Yeah, and then start to turn your back foot out for your two. Oh yeah, let's take a moment to land in these poses. One more deep breath, stretching your legs apart. Awesome. Okay, reverse. Big stretch back. Big breath. Coming into side angle pose. Either variation that you choose, an elbow to knee or a, a hand to the outside of your leg, whatever you like. But maybe if you turn your head, look up. Another breath. Slow tra transition to triangle pose. Another long, slow breath. Start to bend your left knee. You're going to reach forward with that right hand. You grab a block or the floor. Push off your back foot. You have to kind of launch yourself a little bit here. Turn your back toes straight down. We're going to go for the revolved half moon. Take a big breath. And remember, now we're going to go to revolved triangle. Revolved, not evolved. You put your hand under your shoulder or on the outside of your foot. Wherever you can put your hand and balance is the best place. Okay, last breath. Look down, cherry on top. Half moon, regular, regular. Just squeezing all of the energy that we have available <laughs> in our hips. Good, last breath. So we scoop that left hip underneath you. Bring both hands down, right hand down. Good, bend your left knee. Step both feet back, plank. I don't think we need the side plank at this point. Inhale, <laughs> exhale, lower down. Okay, if you want, maybe you're doing up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Three deep breaths. Nice slow vinyasa here, which technically is not vinyasa, but who cares? Somebody, I'm sure. My teacher, probably. <laughs> Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, hop or step forward. No, he'd just be happy that I knew it wasn't really real. Inhale, lift halfway up, lift forward. Exhale, fold. Let's skip the chair. Inhale, come all the way up. And go right into that second side. Exhale, forward, bend, bend your knees. Inhale, left knee comes to your chest. 
Exhale, step back, landing in your warrior one, hook your thumbs. Opposite thumb on front this time, pull your thumbs apart, lean back, stretch, breathe, breathe. Good, one more breath. Slow to warrior two. Just gonna hold it. Hold it. If you're feeling really strong in warrior two, take your feet further apart. Make it a little harder for yourself. Feel a little stronger today. Hmm. I'm trying to do three breaths per pose, so it's probably about three. Lean back, stretch back. And step into the pinky side edge of that front part foot. Keep your front knee bent as you come into side angle pose. Stretch it out. Be with your breath. Be with your feet on the floor. Feel your feet. Slowly coming to triangle, Trikonasana. Head in line with your butt, low ribs pulled in. Maybe you can turn your head to look up. If that hurts your neck, you don't have to do that. You can look down. Mentally prepare for what's coming since you know what it is. We're going to make our way to revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Look down, find your blocks if you're using them. Bend your right knee. Maybe you can do it in one fell swoop. Coming all the way through into revolved half moon. That's crazy. Okay, both hips are even. Both are lifted at the same height. That's hard. Take another breath. Nice and slow, easy does it. We're gonna come to an involved triangle. Which weirdly isn't that much easier than revolved half moon. Okay, different challenge. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Place that left hand where you can put it and stay balanced. Maybe you can look up again, maybe you can't. Lots of maybes. No shoulds. Take another breath. Ooh, look down, here you go. Half moon regular. Sometimes we like regular flavor. Sometimes that's all you need. Original recipe. Stretch. Stretch from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head, from fingertip to fingertip. Lengthen that underside of your waist. Draw your low ribs in. Squeeze your right hip in. Look down. Put your left hand on the floor and start to bend your front knee so you can step back. Plank. Inhale. Exhale to lower, chaturanga or the floor. Inhale, curl up, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your three deep breaths, knowing that you've accomplished a lot in a short period of time. You've done a lot of poses. And on your next inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step forward. Inhale, lifting to the halfway up position. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you reach out and up, stand up. Good. And then exhale, bring your arms to your sides. Stand tall and Tadasana for a moment. Close your eyes. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel where the weight is in your feet, if you're leaning forward or backward. Just start to balance that out. Just take a moment here. Let your breath start to calm down if it's fast. And then begin to open your eyes. 
If you like to use a prop underneath your hips for the seated poses, it's really helpful if you know you have tight hips or maybe tight hamstrings or both. <laughs> both is completely possible and common. No shame in the blanket game. You're going to do wide-legged seated forward fold stuff too, so there's even more reason to grab those blankets if you have any. So with this pose, Upavishta Konasana, your legs are spread wide, but they're not like as far wide as they can. It's not splits pose. So uh, a comfortably open V shape. Flex your toes back towards your shins. <clears throat> well, let's go for just regular style like we talked about. Original recipe here. Inhale, reach up, stretch up, look up. And then exhale, fold forward. The trick is not caring how far you fold forward. <laughs> because it's just one of those poses, depending on where your hip sockets are, it's going to depend on how deeply you fold. Probably a lot more than you would think. So blame your parents, not yourself. Push your heels forward, flex your toes towards your shin, and just for a second, take a deep inhale, lift your head, and try to stretch your spine forward. And then exhale, relax forward as best you can. If you have blocks or a bolster or something you can grab to put your head on, or your elbows on, or your hands on, that always makes the poses seem better, more doable, more enjoyable. That's what we want. Or that's what I want. I want to like my yoga practice. I don't want it to be torturous. <laughs> Not always. Although sometimes I like them as torturous. It's very confusing. Yoga and life. And start to pull in those deep breaths again. Deep, long, slow breaths. And then stay low to the ground. Walk your upper body over closer to your right leg. Some of you might be able to actually like put your heart over your right leg, but some of you won't be able to get that far. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter, just get as far as you can close to that right leg. And then we're gonna do that lengthen your spine, stretch again. So inhale, lift your head. Get the feeling that you can lengthen your spine forward and then from there fold maybe slightly more deep. And bring your props with you if you were using them underneath your head or elbows. Moving to the second side. Stay low, move slow. Notice what your hamstrings are saying. <laughs> Once you get close to that left leg or over the top of it, do that short little inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. So these are primarily hamstring stretches in this position, but you might also feel it in your lower back or your inner thighs. I mean, our hamstrings technically are our inner thighs as well. We just don't tend to think of them being there.
Okay, moving back to center, take a deep breath. And then slowly come up to seated. Before you do any big changes, just sit up, close your eyes, rest your hands wherever they'll be comfortable. And just sort of feel the feeling of being done with that. And then beginning to open your eyes. Let's do a side bend from here. Bring your right heel in. So you're just bringing your heel close to your groin. And then turn towards your right leg. Place your left hand on your outer right thigh. Reach your right arm straight up. Stretch up. Inhale. And then exhale. Side bend to the left. Side bending over your left leg. You just get that big stretch in your right side waist. Breathing deeply. Well, as deep as you can. <laughs> it's hard to breathe like this. Really challenging our lungs. I read in some yoga book years ago that the poses are all just different ways of challenging your lungs. So they're all just different ways of making your breathing stronger. And I thought that was a that's a cool way to look at it. I'm not sure if that's exactly right. Inhale, reach up and over to come out of the pose. And then once again, we're just going to take a moment, sit, close your eyes, breathe. in snug. You're going to turn towards your left leg. Place your right hand on your outer left thigh. Reach your left arm straight up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, side bend over your right leg. Bring your right shoulder towards your right knee. Stretch. Last two breaths. And then you can use that left hand to help you up. So you stretch up and over. And then we'll take a moment again. Just sit up, close your eyes, feel things. Make your way onto your back. So make sure if you have, if you did have props, that they won't be in your way on the sides of your mat. Once you get onto your back, your body might tell you to do something. You might immediately go into some shape. Notice what that shape is, and maybe play with that for a moment, or and or. Hug your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Okay, keeping that right knee in your chest, interlace your fingers on your right shin, and kick that left foot directly out in front of you, like close to the floor. Yeah, and stretch from side to side, or just kind of sway rather. It's not really stretch. Sway from side to side with that left leg. And that's just going to help your hip flexor relax a little better. And then let's switch sides. And it's just a sway from side to side. You can't do it wrong. You don't have to flex your feet or, any, or point your feet or anything like that. It's pretty uh, passive movement. Trying to tell our hip flexor it's okay. We can relax now. All right. Both knees in your 
your chest, arms at your sides, palms on the floor, bring your feet up toward the ceiling and just do a few ankle circles. And then go in the opposite direction. Our feet deserve so much love. You're going to point your toes really strongly toward the ceiling and then pull them back really strongly toward your shins, almost like you're trying to point through your heel. Point through your toes, point through your heel. Just do that a few times. Okay. Bend your knees, put your feet on the floor. Take your feet kind of wide and then you're just going to windshield wiper your knees side to side. Another trick to get your hip flexors to relax. Hip flexors are deep, very deep muscles, most of them, underneath your intestines, attaching to the front of your spine and to your, what's called your lesser trochanter uh, on your femur, on your leg bone. But these, the main hip flexors, the psoas and the iliacus, are. Uh, they're hard to access, actually. I know we think about doing things to them all the time, <laughs> but relaxing is such a nice thing for them. Trying to get them to soften up. Okay, one more deal here. Straighten your legs onto the floor. And push your heels out away from you. Your arms can be wherever you'd like. You're just going to start to point and pull back your toes like pretty quickly so your heels sort of like uh, are being they're being on the ground in such a way that it sort of like jiggles your body it's like a little jiggle and you can go as fast or as slow as you want just pointing your toes and pulling back quickly to make your whole body sort of bounce and jiggle so you want to be as re uh, relaxed or practicing relaxation as much as possible so that you start to feel your belly move. If you have breasts, you might feel your breasts move, your head. Uh, maybe it's going all the way into your hands. Your hands have a little movement in them. So do this for a little bit. Close your eyes. You know, we rock babies when they're upset. Some people even still naturally will rock themselves when they're upset. So it's just really calming for the nervous system, for our nervous systems. You're gonna start to slow that down a little bit. And then you may or may not have props around that you like to use for your Shavasana. Maybe there's something else that you feel like you need to do before you can totally relax. You should do that thing. You should get those props. You should do whatever you need to do to be comfortable in Shavasana. And I'll just have you here for a few minutes to rest.
watching us as a video at home, feel free to keep laying there for as long as you want. As long as you can. <laughs> Probably don't need my permission for that, I guess. Otherwise, starting to bring some movement to your body, some deeper breaths. Maybe you can notice the shift change in your state of being, your state of mind, your mental and emotional bodies. Just noticing that gift that yoga gives us that we also are giving ourselves. Attention if you have one, revisiting that for a moment. Just trusting in the wisdom of your practice to bring you what you need, to show you what you need to see. You can leave your hands as they are, bring them together in front of your heart in honor of each other, in honor of this practice, in honor of the teachers that brought this practice to us, in honor of the native people whose land we practice on. Let's sing one poem. Take a deep inhale. And bow and bow your head to your heart, thanking yourself. I thank you as well. When you're ready, lift your head, open your eyes. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, all the things. I really appreciate it. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my legs.